Good morning. Well, we've had a very, very, very wet um, summer in England, especially around Yorkshire, um, and uh, it's supposed to get a lot better. So I just thought I'd uh, do my gardening, little gardening video, um, to say how the weather's been terrible and it's lots of flowers have gone quite fairly quiet. Um, it's not looking actually too bad, and at least one thing, the lawn's um, recovered mostly. It's still bits and pieces patches but generally the rain's done it good um, yeah um, potentilla there is just starting to flower me at the iceberg iceberg rose is I'm always saying lettuce I don't know why iceberg rose is uh, lots and lots of buds on again so that's another gonna have another gut flush the honeysuckle's just finishing now and the pier is so always looks nice all year round it's just a nice evergreen which is uh, just it's, it's got the little sort of like little beads on now where the where the little seeds will be. They don't really have flowers as such. They have like bracts, really, and then the little flowers are like little bells. They're, they're unusual, really, um, but they're nice. Nice to have is the pieris. Um, just been trimming the pyracantha back, so we're not actually going to have any berries this year. But it was just getting too big, so sometimes we've got one at the front that's full of berries, so that, that's good for the birds. Uh, Euonymus is always nice and bright, it's nice to have evergreens around. Uh, perennial wallflowers, they just flower all summer, completely. Really, and I've got a yellow one there, really good, really nice. Mahib, the Hebe, it's just got far too big and it's actually coming out. I'm sorry about the lamp, the, the standard light, it's flopped over, it needs supporting again. Uh, the Hebe's um, as it says, it's got, it's got too big now, but it's, I thought I'd have its last flowering time and then we'll sort this little area out. The pears have done really well this year. We've one in the front as well, the pear trees. One of the fruits has done really well um, this year. I must, I must have loved all this rain. Hydrangea. So they love the wet anyway, so they've done they've done really well this time. Um, Leicestra, the back. It's Again, it's getting a bit too big now, but it's got unusual flowers on that. It's a bit different. Um, sedums going to be flowering shortly. Um, Japanese anemones, they're uh, they're always uh, popular. Flower for a long time. Um, Antirrhinums getting some more buds on. Going to be flowering soon. Um, flocks, flocks scents, flocks smell lovely. They don't last long, but they've got a lovely scent on. Really, really nice scent. And the the um, honeysuckle at the back. Horse proli prolific. That's uh, oh, Haliana, sorry. That's that's been lovely. And it's still got lots of flowers, lots of flowers to come on. Yeah, I've got a, um, a heather there that's flowering. So the seed, more sedum that's uh, just about to, about to flower as well. Uh, lavender's been good this year. Actually, lavender's been really good this year, even though it's uh, been quite wet. They've done they've done well. I've just dried some. I'm just drying some. Um, I just, I, just I just love lavender. Um, what else? Well, so my little swing seat is. I'm, I think I'm going to put a chamomile lawn under there at some point. I just forget me nots that's seeded. The um, hosta. That's, that's, that's always really, really nice as well. And that's a ramnus. That's an evergreen. Ramnus. That's uh, that's quite nice as well. It's a little bit like pittosporum, but it's, uh, it's quite pretty. Hypericums, they just they just grow anywhere those, and I just find it easy there because it's quite a wet site and it just it just grows grows quite well. The little box edges, they're ready for a trim again, ready for soon. So yeah, I've just done a few little things round, and I just thought I'd just share it with you because uh, I just love talking about gardens. But um, oh yeah, my pittosporum down there with them. Um, which is which is lovely. It comes through green and it turns black because I like different shades, different shades in the garden. On oh, the cotinas at the back, that's been lovely. It's nice to have different shades of green in your garden. As I say, I'm, I'm I've been gardening for about thirty years, and I'm still learning. Always, you're always learning, always changing. Um, again, there's always a patch. It's, it's a life. It's a lifetime thing, you know. Uh, but it's just the way it goes really, it's just, if you love gardening, you love being outside, it's just nice. We're, we're going to put some outdoor lighting in again, we've, uh, we used to have some and it, over years it just went, so I've just been and bought uh, some more lights to put in uh, around. So I like sometimes to sit out at night when it's, when it's night. not that we get many evenings, but 
it's nice when you do so I, anyway um thank you for um in fact letting me come to your gardening club and um, i hope you've enjoyed this video um thank you bye